substitute speaker here about uh, building open source with open source. <laughs> and it's quite a fit, of course, I'm from the Apache Back Victor project, which is building the Hadoop um, open source ecosystem with open source uh, means. So, um, the first for the slide is from my uh, talk from uh, Budapest ApacheCon uh, October last year. Um, I recycled almost all that the talk. Um, sorry, I had no time to prepare. But I'm filling in uh, now uh, some background information about the ApacheCon project first. Um, the Picker project is some kind of melting pot for all the um, uh, tools and um, um, projects uh, within the big data world and with uh, most of um, often the Apache projects. Um, we are building it, we're integrating it, we are deploying it, and we're testing it. That's uh, uh, some kind of uh, the roadmap. What it is. It was started by Roman sitting there, and I think, how many years ago? Uh, 2012. 2012, and now we had uh, at ApacheCon, uh, we had the version 1.0, we are now slowly or fast approaching uh, version 1.1, uh, hopefully in a few weeks or a month. Uh, what's interesting about it, we are uh, building it uh, with uh, Docker um, CI Jenkins um, uh, environment. And in order to give you um, a glimpse of what what we are really including, that's the access of the operating systems from CentOS, Fedora, Ubuntu, Debian, OpenSUSE, and that's all the packages we are supplying. That's uh, from Hadoop, HBase, Hive, the uh, user interfaces, alternative file systems. Um, machine learning uh, tools like Magu and Spark and in data ingest like Stru, uh, Tapion as an accelerator, Tess as an accelerator, YCSB as a benchmarking tool, Zookeeper as a coordinator, and Zeppelin as a UI for, for instance for Spark and some some other stuff I do not know about. It. Um, and we do not only build it for uh, uh, Intel x68, we are building it right now for the PowerPC 64-bit little engine 2. There's some failures here. That's because, um, because uh, these packages contain uh, in the build chain Node.js code. And Node.js isn't supported on that <coughs> platform and that release. So we have to, to, to fix it out somehow. somehow. And all the uh, artifacts are built on Docker and these do the Docker receives uh, um, build files are open source of course. And these are the, for instance, the uh, Docker Hub images we are uh, pulling in in order to compile. So you see here that's for the different versions of operating systems, you see here the, um, the images, and here is even the image for the PowerPC. Um, so, that's what I wanted to talk about today. So, I'm proceeding high um, to um, my original talk. It's about uh, how to build on that a deployment which is secure and highly available. And um, about the company uh, and, and me, I'm uh, active in open source for over 20 years. Uh, I contributed to the master libraries of Linux in the back in the uh, years of uh, version 5. Uh, was Paul a developer, ported Python to a, the Xeon 5, uh, contributions to Flight Gear Simulator. And I'm um, a maintainer of uh, a Kerberos utility. My company is a system integrator for HPC, so I'm coming from the HPC business doing big data right now. 
Um, the target scenario for our customer was to build a re secure, reliable, Debian-based Hadoop system for the Federal Office of uh, Information Security in Germany. And the cornerstones, uh, we had to use uh, Greenfield, Kerberos, LDAP, Debian, Jesse, that was the not stable at that time, Zookeeper, Haha, uh, HA, Hadoop, uh, Hive, U, with automation because it's a cluster. And we like to upstream all of our work uh, to the repositories. And we need an offline installation. That's an important thing because most of the um, commercial, uh, some of the commercial distributions at that time had only an onla uh, online installation. Um, the work we done, we uh, donated to the Big Top project. So every, almost everything you're seeing here is now right in the repositories. But we had a long way to um, pull it, uh, push it upstream. And that's the automation I'm writing, uh, I'm talking right now. This is not completely upstream. Um, we are using the experiences we had with HPC clusters, large clusters, in order to automate the installation of Hadoop. And we did it with Puppet, both uh, because Pickup already had some puppet receipts and we built on that to do and follow the um, deployment <coughs> automation. Um, in order to, to um, explain what ha you have to do in order to get a uh, secure setup, um, you have to do an MIT Kerberos uh, server, master slave setup. Installation of the uh, KDCs, you have to configure the replication, you have to manage the host and service principles, and you have to manage the key types. And if you're uh, looking hard at it, you have a lot of automation to do, like time services, the monitoring, databases, rep uh, hosting resolution, um, authentication, firewalls, locales configuration. Um, yeah, PEM, this uh, authentication, manage host keys and so, uh, time zones, and to configure the, um, the, the tools is only a small time, uh, part of the infrastructure what we have to do. Most of the uh, most work is in the infrastructure behind. So we did it in, uh, with Puppet. Puppet um, not everyone may know what Puppet uh, really is. The ecosystem of Puppet contains the engine, some factors, determines the effect of the system itself, has some hierarchical database, and uh, OGIAS is a thing to manage snip slaps of code we have placed into the configuration files, and PuppetDB is uh, something that can consume all the, co the facts of the cluster and push it to the cluster again. For instance, it's uh, needed for managing the SSH uh, host keys. Uh, you know, if you uh, uh, log into the first time into a system, you, uh, you will uh, be asked whether the host key is valid. That one can be automated by the Puppet, pushing it all to the PuppetDB and uh, deploying to all the clusters. Um, this is done by Puppet Manifest. I will skip that. And um, that's important. There are two different modes for this Puppet. Um, a masterless or apply mode. That's the one um, I say I want to um, configure that node um, with a command. I say Puppet apply and it's pushed onto the configuration. The master, uh, the master, uh, puppet master mode, the agent mode, is that the agent continuously pulling in the configuration and applying it locally. And it has the advantage if something is broken, it will be fixed by puppet afterwards. Or uh, to say the other, uh, other way around, if you're trying to fix it manually uh, by hand, you are uh, fixing your configuration file, then puppet will change it again. <laughs> So you have to do it uh, at the master. 
the mo um, public recipes by Victor are in the masterless mode, and we reuse the um, um, Big Top recipes into uh, doing a master um, configuration. That has the advantage we, uh, the Puppet configures, creates a PK, PKA, a Puppet, puppet uh, key infrastructure. So it generates a certificate and a trust between the client and the, uh, the master. And for almost everything, there is a PKA uh, necessary. And the trick we use is to reuse the Puppet um, CA for all the trust within the um, cluster. So no manage, uh, and <coughs> the um, advantage is Puppet does um, create the CA without manual inter uh, intervention. So it creates a trust between the agent and the, the master, and uh, one has to uh, say yes, that is the, the, the correct master, but that's all. And we can automate everything if we can um, have an initial trust between the master and the client, and every SSL certificate and every Kerberos credential is transported um, securely without manual intervention between the uh, different nodes of the system. And I th we thought that is cool, and we automated this from bottom to uh, all the, uh, from the top to the bottom. So, um, that's a typical use case, uh, how to use uh, Puppet. One is looking for in Puppet Forge uh, for um, modules, try that out, imp uh, install it, and use it. And we had already uh, some configuration files in Puppet. So, uh, um, some slides ago, uh, we, I showed what we all have to do, and that's all the, um, th what we have done with Puppet, because almost all was already there. So we reused all these things which were already in place for the open source. Um, we had uh, some problems with the Kerberos, because the Kerberos um, Big Top module was only suitable for, uh, for testing. It was an unsecured Kerberos setup. So we found a, um, a suitable uh, Kerberos module within Puppet and uh, did a, a wrapper around it that is compatible to the Big Top one. And now we can plug in that module uh, into the Big Top module and you can do a secure um, Kerberos uh, rollout. That's um, a work uh, which was done by a colleague of mine. Uh, it was a co-presenter in Budapest. Um, that's, I have to shorten it. It's, it's about the that's the um, bootstrapping of Kerberos with uh, an uh, with an um, certificate. That's the key point about bootstrapping with the CA. That's a PK in it um, extension of Kerberos. It's a little bit advanced, um, and you have that's out of date now. Um, so we use the Puppet CA for the PK in it, and you know, now uh, we enhance the BigTop templates that's already in place, supported journaling, uh, HA name notes, that's uh, all the stuff one needs to a highly available um, Hadoop infrastructure. Um, Putting up um, uh, a highly available resource manager, configuring the Hive and the uh, user interface, and securing it with all the uh, Kerberos um, infrastructure. So, um, there's something special about the Kerberos infrastructure we need with Hadoop. The principles are not only now uh, as called service, they are called service slash host name or fully qualified domain name. And this is a little bit of a trick to work around uh, some Kerberos problems, but that have to be uh, done in, uh, in, uh, in that uh, work. The authentication is in, is in order. Uh, the authorization, they, we found some problem. Um, 
the uh, I guess that's, I can skip it, but uh, in Silkeeper we had a problem, we found a problem that uh, the author authentication is done by Kerberos, that's okay, but the auth auth uh, authorization uh, has a problem because we have access controllers in Silkeeper to order to protect the semaphores and these semaphores are unprotected. So everyone can delete it and can uh, this. Uh, Uh, the open source was uh, a hobby project before and this was a great experience to work with the communities to fix all the stuff in order to get it that running that way that we can deliver it to the customer. We're fully open source, you can open, uh, pull it from uh, the repositories and build all the stuff. Uh, my uh, original talk I wanted to present here, but was <laughs> rejected, was about rolling your own uh, Hadoop distribution with all the uh, contents in the repositories. So I, I couldn't give, give this uh, presentation, but I have no uh, short introduction. What is possible with Apache Victor? Getting all the stuff from different repositories together and put a fully blown, secure um, installation big data installation. Thanks. Store. If the, uh, the um, active goes down, 
then there's a different demon I uh, forgot about them. There's a Zookeeper face fencing controller. It switches the uh, the um, from the name node from the first one to the second one and promotes them to the active one. And the uh, every Hadoop client can um, discover the uh, switching of the name node and it retries it because we have a different name naming scheme. It's called um, HDFS uh, slash slash cluster. And it actually tries round robin all these uh, cluster nodes. But that's built into H Hadoop. Okay. You said you required offline installation. How yeah. did you package the binaries and how did you make them available on the processor? There's Debian packages. Okay. Yeah. Right. And yeah, how, how, how did you push them to the cluster when you deployed them? Uh, we have a repository of our own. In fact, we have several uh, repositories of our own, where you c uh, which are configured at the clients, and uh, we, are, we are doing update and so. Okay. Normal installation. So, uh, Big Top is uh, packaged uh, uh, as a repository, as it's the convenience artifacts, artifacts we are uh, calling it. And if you are um, going to the uh, Big Top homepage. You will find the release, and you can um, add in the um, release uh, repository to your favorite Linux distribution. And uh, yum install, zipper install. Uh, no, zipper install isn't, isn't supported, but uh, um, get install is supported. Too.